It's Wednesday. Um, it's six. It's just after six. It's my first early morning in a while. And my last in a while that I have to go driving. So although I probably look like crap, I don't feel too bad. Um, so 35 weeks now since Sunday. Next week's my last week. But this is my last week with lots of things going on, so I am um, going down to Cork today and um, tomorrow I've got clinic and then I'm up in Thurless. And Friday we're going to get our buggy, which is quite exciting <laughs> in a weird way. Um, no, but I think generally, actually feeling grand. I hate these early mornings, so <laughs> I'm probably going to hate them more when I'm screaming, maybe. <laughs> So it's Thursday, um, I was off for most of the day, I just had one client this morning and I'm on my way to Thurlis and this better be the last training day, I'm telling you, I'm starting to feel it. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm definitely ready to be on my journey to leave, I'm so ready. I know, I'm excited to see how they're all going. and. You know, it's always a bit, for me, a little bit maybe emotional when it's the last day, you know, of training for an All-Ireland, so. Uh, because they're a great bunch, you know. They really are a great bunch, and I really enjoy working with them, and I must say I'm very proud to be part of the whole setup. So, um, so yeah, I've had a little more energy now, so hopefully they're full of energy, and I'll, I'll uh, thrive on that for the evening. Then I'm off tomorrow, and then the All-Ireland Saturday. Not working today, um, and we're on our way to Cork just to pick up the buggy and the car seat and all that fun stuff. And so I am just out in the farm. Alan had to go check on the calves and do a few bits and pieces. I actually don't even know where he's gone now. Um, but so he wants to check on them before we leave. So they're well. Let's see. I don't. I have to try and get through here now. Oh, no, I wasn't do that. They are. They can be a little noisy, they're so funny, these things. So these are the youngest of Alan's calves. <laughs> they get scared. They don't see me as often. <laughs> so, uh, so, often when I have been feeling better, especially generally before I was pregnant anyway, it's really nice to come out here and uh, walk around and the uh it's just nice fresh air and the views are gorgeous especially it's a bit cloudy today but normally it's so nice and i've been out here in ages um i was just saying to my friend like i haven't actually been exercising since i was 29 weeks pregnant and i'm 30 almost 36 now which is seven weeks which is just absolute madness and you really miss it i really miss it now i'm looking at people running on the road i'm so envious so Hopefully I'll have that envy still when the baby comes and I'll <laughs> get back into it. But uh, So yeah, so we're going down to Cork today and we also, the RSA, have the Check It Fits programme where you can go and make sure your car seat is put in correctly. Um, and I read, I think I read either something like 80% or 3 out of 4. Is that still 80%? I don't know. Math's not my strong point. Um, that car seats are fitted in correctly, so um, we'll get that done and make sure it's in right. This is the view. I don't think I'm going much higher today, but you can see all the way around to Tremor. It's not as clear a day, but oh, there's Alan. <sighs> he, the animals are obviously off the other side. I just could not go there. So, the car is packed with all this stuff, the buggy and car seat that we're going to go to the RSA and get fixed and Alan's trying to figure out the base. 